From the Cruise Radio studio in Jacksonville, Florida, this is Cruise Radio News with Doug Parker. Here's your Cruise News Briefs for Tuesday, February 9th, 2021. Carnival Cruise Line is backtracking after prematurely releasing its list of onboard return to cruise protocols last Friday. In a statement, a spokesperson told Cruise Radio, As we have said previously, guests should expect mask wearing, testing, distancing, and other protocols. We intend to provide more details over the coming weeks as we go to resume operations. A hot-button topic when the protocols were released was that the cruise line may require reservations for things like the pool and the casino. There's no word yet as to whether that's one of the changes that has not yet been finalized. And as we reported last week, due to Canada's cruise ship ban for another year, large foreign-flagged cruise ships may not be able to sail in Alaska for 21 If that does happen, the Alaska cruise market is going to go from about 71,000 berths to just 1,100. However, the season won't be completely dead. Several small U.S. flag cruise lines will still be able to sail the Alaska season, including Dream Cruises, Uncruise Adventures, and Lindblad Expeditions. And since the cruise industry shut down last March, Port Miami has been waiving the port fees for cruise lines who need to dock their ships there. Now, the mayor of Miami County is extending that waiver effective February 1st and going through March 31st of 21. She says we will continue to support our cruise line partners throughout these unprecedented times. And taking a look at cruise line stocks, Carnival Corporation up on Monday to 21.61, up 1.4%. Royal down 1% to 70.70, and Norwegian up 1% to 25.01. Breaking news and up to the minute industry coverage at cruiseradio.net. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise Radio News. The proceeding was a production of Cruise Radio. For more accurate and dependable updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit cruiseradio.net.